Warning, sensitive content. We never had Supreme Master Television before. Yes. And even if you stand on the TV and you tell them, no, we didn't do that, we didn't do this, not all people will believe you. Yeah, yes. And then the people who don't believe and who deliberately want to blacken your name, they will spread further the gossip. Yeah. And then after a while, everybody thinks you are bad. Yeah, I understand. And you have no, no voice. You don't even know who spread it. You can't even negotiate with them because you don't know who they are. Maybe you know, but you can't find them. Yeah, but there's too many. Yeah, too many also, that's like that. And many write letters, oh, dirty and nonsense and threat letters and all kinds of things. Uh, many decades, I, I just have to endure it because what else to do? Yes. Just thank God there's, there's only death threats or bad slandering, but still can be alive to continue to work. Yes. But still, that is a sad thing because that will create more karma, more bad karma for the humans. Yeah. Whoever believes in those spreading gossip, that's a, also an obstruction to stop many people from coming who seek the truth. Yes, for sure, for sure. Cannot come because they believe in those uh, false gossip or newspapers. We call them salad newspapers, <laughs> boulevard newspapers, cheap, yeah. Yes. But still, they have influence in some groups of people, some areas. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not easy. Not easy to be a master in any time, not just uh, this time. This time already very, very good. Very, very good. Compared to the time of Buddha, uh, Jesus, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the time of uh, the Sikh masters, yeah? And, 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 and before that. Yeah, now we have Supreme Master TV. We can spread the uh, information. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, you're right. But still, there are some people who who don't understand it, even if you told them in the face. Yeah. Evidently, is that we keep telling people, please be vegan, because it helps your health, helps your uh, soul, liberates you, and uh, helps the planet. How many people listen? Huh? I understand. Yeah. So, it's spread the news or information, it depends on luck or the karma of the whole world, whether or not people listen. That's true. Yeah. Therefore, we still have to work very hard. But thank God that we still can work, no? Yes, yes. And we work very hard, but we, we are grateful that we can still work. Yeah, I'm grateful every day. Every day I'm thanking for all the support from heaven and earth, visible and invisible. Yeah. Hope they can wake up soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, we pray, no? we pray and we hope, okay, that's what it is. What else to do? Yes. That's how we fight, no? <laughs> that's our jihad. <laughs> our to be master yeah. television is our weapon. <laughs> and we are jihadists. <laughs> good ones, good ones. We are good jihadists, sanely, vegan jihadists, <laughs> non-violent jihadists. Yeah, true, true jihadists. Yes, yes. Yeah. Two soldiers, spiritual soldiers, don't kill anybody, don't harm anything. Yes. Not even animals. We only save them, yeah. Yeah, we try hard to save them. We save some, at least some millions of animals. Yes, yes. Every year, as we are working, as the time goes by, we save more and more. It's just too slow for my liking. Understand. Because every day when I see the TV, because sometimes we have to show the gruesome picture of animals being abused and tortured and massacred like that. Oh, my heart just, like somebody's stabbing it with a knife. Yes. Every day I pray, every day I cry, every day I cannot bear. It's too slow for my liking, too slow. Yes. Even though there's some progress everywhere, but I still don't like it. I say to heaven, oh God, please this world is like hell. I don't know if I can continue bearing to work here. Yes. <laughs> every day. Every day. <sighs> okay. Jihadis, what else? Okay, we, we have another question. Initially, when the Taliban took over Afghanistan, they said women and girls need to stay at home until approved to go to school and university. Mm. Later, the Taliban said they would be letting women and girls and yeah. return to school. Mm -hmm. Recently, a tweet was falsely attributed to the chancellor of uh, Kabul University. Mm. It stated that women would be barred 
from the university for work and study. Mm. A Taliban spokesperson confirmed that it was a fake Twitter account mm. and told the media outlet Asios mm. that women have right to access of course. to in education and work. Yes, yes, in, in Islam. It says that knowledge is a fundamental right or something like that yes, for all Muslims. Yes. Meaning it's required even. Yes. Uh, originally, they say that men and women have to be separate in, in the university. Last time we talked about it. Yes. So I said, okay, okay, why not as long as they can study? But I don't know what the fuss, you know, because the, uh, the prophet, beast be upon him, he taught both men and women. Our world has half men, half women, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, more or less. <laughs> in some countries, more men, in some countries, yes. more women. But the, the prophet, peace be upon him, never forbid men and women to come to learn with him. Yes. He taught both equally. Definitely. And uh, all the, you know, the writings in either the Quran or Hadith exalted women, saying how great they are. And women were very, very much respected and revered in Muslim original teachings. I don't know what they're doing nowadays, forbid women to go out, have to cover all their face. But I explained already, that wasn't at war, so the, the women cover, the more the better. Yes. So people don't recognize them. Because sometimes your neighbor knows that you follow the prophet, peace be upon him, and they might go and, and sell you to the government, and the government might kill you or imprison you, and then try to extract information from you about where the prophet is, so that they can kill him. Because they killed their disciples already. Yes, yes. So they all try to protect the, the prophet. And also protect themselves. So the prophet told them to cover themselves. Because women are more vulnerable than men. Eh? Yes, they, yes. They are vulnerable to attack or to assault and all that. And they're helpless. Yes. And also, therefore, the prophet, peace be upon him, also uh, taught them to uh, go out with a man, at least one, to protect them. Understand. Yes. And uh, actually, in many countries, also even in India nowadays, they also, in many cities, they still should go out with the men. Because in the old time, they had very dark streets. True. And then if you go out alone, if something happens, how will you rescue yourself, being alone, yeah? Yes, dangerous. Dangerous, yeah, nowadays, in some cities in India, they still do that. Yes. And it's okay, too, if you have a man. Yeah. Like me now, I don't have any men. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go out. <laughs> so I'm in retreat, that's correct, son. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm in retreat anyway. Nowadays, where would I go? I can't even talk to the disciples. and I have to kind of also protect myself for the time being. Yes. That's why I don't have uh, any new uh, like recording or connection or anything. Just sometimes call you, that's all. Yes. What were we talking about? Tell me again. The women rights in Afghanistan. Okay. So right now they can go to school, huh? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It's supposedly saying something like because they don't have enough uh, women professor or teacher. But the more they forbid, the more they won't have. True. <laughs> if they forbid the women more, then they don't have any more skilled workers to take care of the women in their country. Yes, master. Uh, the woman can be their mother. You know, their grandmother, their wife, their sisters, their, their daughters. So, women are important. Yes, definitely. They have to let the woman go to school, go to university, and that is correct, so. Yes. You cannot avoid women. We are everywhere. And we must learn something to contribute to the prosperity and development and progress of the country. Yes, Master. Women are beautiful, are very smart and very capable. And also more detailed than men, in most cases. So women are a very important part of the society. Any country that looks down upon women or prohibits uh, women uh, in any way, 
we never develop well. Yes, agree. Yeah, and we stay underdeveloped or like, you know, some other centuries ago. But even some centuries ago, women were free. Yeah. Yeah, to go outside, to go study. And under the time of the Islam starting, that was because the government made war with them. So the women had to be more in hiding, go out with men, and that's correct. So. Yes. Nowadays, they drive. <laughs> the woman, they drive, they fly over you. They go anywhere. <laughs> Most countries like that, yes. even in the poor country, women are free. Yes. Yeah? They drive all over the planet. Nobody can stop them. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Because if any government tries to stop the woman sooner or later, it will boil over. And there will be a revolution. Yeah. It's even worse than before. Exactly. So any smart Government, including Muslim governments, must let women free. Yes, yes. Many countries are more free now. I think I saw many countries even in like, I don't know, Jordan or, or uh, Turkey, um, Morocco. All these are Muslim countries. Yes, yes. But the woman can wear a jibab or not wear a jibab. I mean the long, long black dress, yeah, cover for everything. Mm. They can wear it or not wear it. It's not like a uh, obligation. Yes. I tell you, there's also another misunderstanding. I hope after I die, people don't force women <laughs> who believe in Ching Hai, so mm. would have to wear a long tunic. I requested the woman disciples to wear that recently. Yes, yes. yes. Because sometimes when they meditate, it's just kind of too undignified. Uh, if you wear too short, you, you show everything. Yes, yes. When you sit or when you bend down and all that, it's not dignified. So I told them better wear long one. Yes. Long one to cover some up to the knees or something like that. So when you do meditate, you know, even you don't cover with blanket when it's too hot, and you don't expose yourself. Yes. And keep your dignity, that's all. But at home they wear what they want. I think they wear tight jeans or no, whatever. <laughs> A mini skirt? I would never know. <laughs> I would never be able to be there and say, hey, hey, <laughs> we are the same like in the ashram. <laughs> in the ashram, we have some regulations. Yes, yes. Like what time we go out to eat together because the kitchen cannot stay there, wait for you forever to clean up. So when it's time to eat, you go eat together. Well, unless you don't want, then you take it and you eat later in your in your room. But it's not like a, a, a law. Yes, yes. It's, it's uh, some regulation just to make everybody comfortable. That's right. Yes. Because if the time I come out to talk and you are still in the kitchen sloughing down your soup and <laughs> everybody does that, <laughs> then I talk to whom? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yeah, the time I come out to talk, you are still sloughing your soup. <laughs> huh? <laughs> then you miss something. And I will also be missing your presence. Everybody is not there or in the kitchen. Then I go to the kitchen to talk or what? But then somebody else is already in the meditation hall. Or only some are not there, then this is too chaotic. Yes, understand. And to wear the long dress when you go to the ashram, it's just also to protect the men. Yes. So you yes. don't wear such a tight stuff or short stuff. Men already have a big war with the hormone raging in their bodies already. Yes. And if you provoke more, this is, this is the poor men, you know? It's terrible for them. Yes. So I try to protect both men and women. Yes, understand.